I was playing nice last night. It's crazy. I just gotta make sure I'm sharp. I gotta make sure I'm sharp moving forward. Um, okay, so I talked about the I talked about the groups. The league's gonna send information to you on all of the shareable information. So, like I said, the schedule the schedule is gonna be shared. The rules are gonna be shared. Like the expectations of player of uh, players and like conduct and all that stuff. That's gonna be shared. Um, the score sheet on how scores are collected. That's going to be shared. And let me, let me, I'm, I got to stress that right now. And then, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to catch you, Game Toronto. But I want to stress right now that the score sheet that's going to be sent out by the league is to ensure that the players enter the scores of their matches. And it's real straightforward. It's real easy. But the players can enter the scores right after the game. Okay, the app, like the, the score sheet and that app is really easy. Just take the time right after your game. Everything's fresh or everything's still going to be on screen. Just enter the stats, um, submit it and just be done with it. Don't do any, I'm going to submit it at the end of the night because you might play three or four games or you might even forget. And then what happens the next day is you may not know the score. You may forget who's home, all that kind of stuff. And what the league's trying to do definitely day at night after night is have because there's going to be there's going to be a standings list they're going to want the the wild game standings to be as accurate as possible so if you can enter the stats as soon as your game's over it's like real-time stats you're going to be able to tune in and check it out and it's right then and there all right so i want to encourage everyone when you get that um score app you know when you get that score app that you enter everything right then and there and let's keep the standings as accurate as possible so that when the trash talk happens it's mad accurate too Okay. Um, okay. So I wanted to address that. I want to address how the tournament goes, and then the way the tournament format is structured right now, it's a four-week span. Things may get tweaked. Th things may get tweaked. Maybe we'll see. We'll see some opportunities. The league's never reluctant to do it, but they're never. It's never a knee-jerk reaction. It's always based off information. All right. Let me address Game Toronto right now. So Game Toronto wants to say, I don't. I don't understand. Why we playing first then? Just to get a game in with others, I guess. What? Hang either. First group, I mean. So game Toronto, I'm not sure what you mean, but let me let me let me explain this. So so the Cobra group is a battle within itself. Okay? The Cobra group, I'm not worried about the Dragon group. I'm not worried about the Elephant group. I'm not worried about the Lion group. In the Cobra group, I am only worried about Hausa, Game Toronto, Captain America, the Feza, and JD. The schedule is going to outline when I play all of those opponents that I just mentioned in week one and week two. Now, I, I obviously, like you said earlier, you want to go undefeated within your group. If I go undefeated within my group, Chances are, I'm going to be the number one player in my group. Safe to say. So if I'm the number one player in my group, I am the leader of my group. I got bragging rights to say, yo, I'm the best. I'm the best. I, I won my group. I won the Cobra group. I'm the best. Now, from the Cobra group, um, at the end of week two, I will potentially, well, not potentially, I will face either the leader of the dragon group or the leader of the elephant group or the leader of the lion group. I will play one of them. If I win, I move on. Win, you move on. Lose, you go home. All right? So first I want to win my group. Then I want to win my first matchup against another leader. I win that, and then I'm in the finals to play against the other leader that won their first leader matchup group, playing for the finals to win it all. All right? Ooh, Miggy's talking about <sighs> Miggy's talking some trash right now. I can't lie. Can't lie, he's talking some trash. Alright, I lie I wanna put this um what do I wanna do here? What do I do with my remote? Alright, click that. Um Let me turn this off for a sec. Okay. And then I'm going to want to, uh, where is it? Sorry, views. I went over that. I went over that. I shared the schedule briefly. 
Um, um, you think I should? You think I should talk through? You think I should talk through? Because um, I briefly talked talked about the scheduling, confirming matches. Or should I should I break that up and do that as more like um, or as a separate broadcast? What do you mean? Like, because right now I think of how long I've been broadcasting. I mean, I'll chop this up, obviously, but should I do, sh should I include on the broadcast, like in detail about um, how to confirm matches and setting up matches? No, this is uh, more so just an introduction. Yeah, yeah, because information we'll is still going to have to. All right, so the one thing that I'm going to, I'm going to end this with is um, I'm going to end this with the expectations around tiebreaker, around uh, duplicate teams. All right, so let me do, so that's on screen right now. Let me add this back. And let me add that back. All right. How do the playoffs work? Um, are you are you sure? Game Toronto, you want me to break it down one more time? I'll, I'll, I'll wait to see the message in the Twitch. If you want me to break it down one more time, I got no problem doing that. Because I can do that one more time and then I can talk about the team challenge. Oh, you stepped away. Okay, no problem. So the way the playoffs are going to work, really quickly, every player in the wild games right now, every player in the wild games right now, their sole motivation is to be the leader of their group, to win their group, to be the best player within the group. Whereas before in the PSBL, you worried about 24 players in the KOL, you worried about 30, 40 plus players. Oh, one second, Mix. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. One second. So you have to worry about so many players. What the league has done, they've refined it. With this wild games, you just have to worry about five other opponents. You have to worry about your group. Okay? You worry about your group. You're the leader of their group. As the leader of the group, and understanding that there will be three other leaders of their group. Okay? Because there's four groups of six. You're the leader of your group. You're going to be facing against three other leaders of their group. And what's going to happen is the top leader is going to face against the worst leader of the group. The second best leader is going to play against the third best leader. That's going to be considered the group. The that's sorry. That's going to can be. That's going to be considered the knockout stage. Okay. If you win your knockout stage, you, you win. You move on. You lose. You go home. If you win the knockout stage, then you beat one other leader. You're moving on. The other player that beat that other leader are gonna. You guys are gonna match up and face in the finals, the playoff, the wild games playoff finals. So you're gonna be facing. Potentially, you're going to be facing against the other leader. You play against that other leader, and you win. You are the winner. You are the the winner of the Wild Games tournament. Okay? You're going to be the winner of the Wild Games tournament. No, no talks. You won't get anything. No one can talk to you because you're the leader. You've established yourself as being the leader. Now, the format is going to be very similar to past PSBL matches. There's going to be seven-minute, seven-minute matches. Okay? Um, sorry, seven minute halves, online rosters, and you're going to play one home, one away. Okay. And the way it's going to work, same scoring system in terms of goal differential and all that jazz you're familiar, you're familiar with. And those that aren't familiar, it's going to be in the rule book. You guys can, re you guys can visit that. I won't go into that right now, but what's going to be really cool is the top seated player plays away first and they're gonna be, the top seeded player is gonna play away against their opponent and then it's gonna be flipped, you're gonna play home. So it's gonna be home and away, or away and home, all right, okay? You play that and you win, you're done, that's it. That's the tournament. So two weeks, two weeks of tournament season play. All right, so week one, week two. Week three will be knockout stage if you happen to be the leader of your group. If you're not the leader of the group, you're out of there. You didn't make it. Thanks for thanks for coming out. Yeah, you had a good try. Yeah, you played well, but you're not the leader. You're out. You have your chance at the next tournament. You can battle for the next tournament. 
Now you're the leader, you move on. And you and you continue to move on until you make week four. And week four is the finals. All right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, Game Toronto asked about legacy defending. Okay? So, no, there's no legacy defending. It's tactical defending. That's going to have to be shown. That's another reason for the Twitch broadcast. Absolutely. Thanks for bringing that up. All right. So, Migs had a question. Um... Points in the PSPL next season. Winning. Oh, is there a final prize for the winner? Absolutely, Migs. Absolutely, there's a final prize. The final prize will be revealed at a later time. Okay? The final prize will be revealed at a later time. And what the league is also looking into, which I'm kind of in favor for, but I know that they're, tr they're trying to roll this out slowly, is that there's going to be... There's, there's going to be some serious prizing available to it available to the winners uh, but they're exploring that to also see how the support um, kind of comes through with regards to those participating in the league as well as some that are that have shown interest in supporting the league so they're, they're looking into that but there there is the potential of some prizing that will be revealed at a later time um, and points in the PSPL for next season no no nothing that happens within the wild games tournament will will affect or be carried over into the PSBL next season totally different okay which is a great format because similar to like the KOL um, the KOL had its unique bonus uh, bonus structure the wild games tournament is going to have its own bonus structure um, but it's not going to feed into the PSBL I hope that helped yo nice man this has been, honestly, I could continue talking for like another hour about this because I'm really excited about this this tournament. I'm really excited about this tournament. And what I'm actually hoping to to like discuss moving forward uh, is how everyone else feels about their group stages. So I know it's not happening now, but what I want to encourage everyone is leave a comment. So I'm going to be posting this on Twitch. This is going to be archived on Twitch. Um, I'm going to send out a tweet uh after i do my edits and this is also going to be on youtube so please share your comments in youtube let me know what you think of your group let me know what you think of the other players in their groups and their chances of winning i'm clear to say all right so i don't know how else i don't know how you guys feel all right but i think the elephant group is a group of death okay i'm kind of torn honestly i'm kind of torn between the lion group Okay, I'm kind of torn between the Lion Group and the Cobra Group to be considered the second toughest group. Just because you got you got the PSBL champ and the finalist in the same group, like that's crazy. That's crazy. And. <laughs> Because talking some trash, and I'm also interested to, interested to see how these new players compete and how they adjust. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. So I mean, I love I love what's happening on the broadcast. I've been messing around with a couple of things. I hope you guys noticed. Um, uh, what else do I want to say here? Shoot, I think I'm gonna shut it down. Actually. I'm going to shut it down. I want to encourage everybody to send in their send in their information. If you're not a part of the league, you want to be a part of the league, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Um, hit me up. I'll share with you the email. I'll share with you the Twitter account so that you can um, directly get in contact with the league and set things up on your own. And we can get things popping. The league's always looking for new talent because... Again, they're trying to build, trying to build and grow this community. There's been so many great friendships that have been established because of the PSBL and and the leadership of the of the members in it. So this is going to continue moving forward. The innovation never stops. And right now, it's all about these po potential team challenges and the scheduling that's going to come out for all of the individual groups. I'm excited. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be p competing at my best. This wild games, how amazing would it be for the first inaugural wild games tournament to be won by Vader Games? Oh, that sounds so good! Sounds so good! 
So that's what I'm going to be all about. All right. All right. Hold on. These last few questions before I shut down. All right. Migs is saying good night and God bless. Much respect. <laughs> he wants me to talk about Liverpool some more. Man, we know Liverpool is a dangerous team. If that's going to be the team that you're going to be using, I think guys need to watch out. Guys are going to need to watch out because from what I saw last time, I think you have a better understanding of your defense. You definitely know what you want to do offensively. So, guys need to watch out, man. So, this broadcast is going to temporarily shut down. It's going to shut down temporarily. Um, and I'm going to start a fresh one because I'm going to get some gaming in at least for an hour, maybe an hour and a half. All right? I got a, I got a holiday on Monday, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Vader Games, PSBL, Wild Games, new tournament. I'm out. Much respect. Thank you very much.